And on today's episode, we're by the lake. So, what do you think we had to get done? Well, we're renting the VRBO, which is a blessing. So, stick around, find out if I had to move a bunch of trees. Somebody has woken up. Yummy, yummy yogurt. Mmm. And, uh, okay, someone's going to sleep. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. I love you, Bubba. I'll be right back, okay? Because everybody has to go to work, so Mama doesn't have to work, and uh, we can pay our bills and keep progressing in life. Hmm. What? Can you what? You want to come? <laughs> Not. I have to work, though. You can't come with me to work. Sometimes you can in a big truck. Okay? Yeah, in a big truck. All right, learn your letters. If you guys don't know about Alpha Blocks, it's pretty cool if you got small children. Uh, Cash can read like anything right now, and Casey's right behind him. And so that's, he does watch these, but he'll get bored with them, and then he'll go right to that and just kind of doze off. So, cool. Let's get to work. Let's go see what's going on out here. Oh my goodness. Bye, baby. I love you. Oh, you want to say bye? Yeah. Bye, baby. I love you. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> I want to be on the video. <laughs> All right. Cool. Got the APU ready for mats tomorrow. Um, and let's check out the loads on Truck Smart this morning. I've already looked at them. They are pretty sad and not hot at all, but it's supposed to be 80 degrees today. So we need to go do a little bit more uh, checking on the lake property. We did get it rented this weekend. People didn't know if they were going to rent it. And then they said, hey, we'll take it. So we're like, oh, okay. The inside's ready, but all those trees are everywhere. So I have to go out there and make sure the tree guys are like, hey, clear a path so they can get going. This thing broke. Oh, no, it didn't. It just came out. Okay. See? Came out a little holder. Put it back in there. Get glory flying. And then let's get to the lake. Okay. Let's look at those loads. Here's Truck Smarter right there in the middle. And right here on the right, that is the address for Craft House Pizza. We'll be hanging with them most of the day on thursday our video will be probably from them and the meet and greet on thursday night um just kind of what we saw the first day and yeah that's where they'll be booth 64220 come check them out and then hang out at the happy hour all right let's get into these loads here we go here we go loading up all right columbus georgia 500 bucks all the way past atlanta my goodness uh piney flats baltimore uh see it's a two drop going past atlanta but it's picking up right here Probably a light load, it's probably fabric cal. Um, but at least they're both the same day. One's an eight, one's a 10. We'll bid on that one and see what they counter with. But 1250 is what we would run that for. Probably 11 would be the lowest we'd take on that, but 1250 would be ideal. All right, Mira Loma, California, Virginia, Arlington, Texas for 1600. My goodness. Uh, Axton, Virginia, got a lot of those loads. Uh, Transloop and Truck Smarter is always adding new brokers, guys. So set up with all of them. Uh, Pepsi, set up with them, but make sure you track your load or uh, find out how to track your load. Be a good idea. Um, but always new load, new loads and new brokers being added every week from Truck Smarter. Ocala, Axel will email on that one. That's not a bad one. Uh, Pennsylvania, fifteen hundred. Man, it's so bad. That is horrible. Seneca to Tampa, that's a maybe. Loadsmith, I've been on their loads before. Um, but they kind of just email you back a, a rejection or we would counter offer you this a little bit more. So we'll see what they're up to. But I haven't been on one of their loads, <coughs> one of their loads in a while. Let's keep looking. Apple Valley for three grand. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, there you go. That's a decent one. Rutherford, Alachua, a little bit north of a deadhead. These are all getting a little higher in a deadhead now. Fairburn for 600. Come on. Go down there to get it. Go all the way around. <laughs> it's just bad right now, guys. That's why we're blessed to have the Uber as a backup. Um, I was pr I'm was i praying for a turnaround. Don't know when that's going to happen, but right now it's still looking pretty shambles for loads, guys. Oh, that one's taken. Hopefully it wasn't taken for 487. Um, we were blessed to get that CH Robinson down to Tampa for a decent rate. Like, uh, really helped. Um, Oh, that one's taken too, man. I guess 1100 at Jacksonville, Kings Mountain. If you're already over there, not too bad. 15 would be my lowest I'd take on that, but you got to do what you got to do. So, 
we were blessed, like I said, to take that Tampa load and make it worthwhile. But man, we spent probably 600 in fuel on that round trip. Okay, well, those are the loads. We will keep looking. Deadhead's getting a little high. Uh, we're going to Uber and got some other things we're doing today, but we will always be able to look out for a load. And Truck Smarter is the only place I would look. It's a free load board. It has everyone's vetted. If they're not vetted, they will let you know that. But everything on this board is vetted, which means that you will be factorable on it. So, okay, let's keep looking. And those are the loads. Not so great. Not so grand. So we got a couple we're emailing on, but <clears throat> it's back to the same old, old industries and shambles right now. But that's understandable. Understandable. Get our neighbor's trash can in. And then we, uh, we brought the iPad so we can Uber. In case we get anything going out to the lake or going back, why not? And then we might just Uber because the loads are still so bad. So let's check that out. Let's first get our neighbor's uh, trash can back for him. Okay, let's get the minivan warmed up. 3.5 liters of pure awesomeness. There we go. All right. Of course, before we get boogieing though, let's go ahead and wash the old white bullet minivan all right 72 so far but it's only uh, 11 12 hey how you doing should pick up that how you doing you can pick up that plate right there you go ah, i like it yeah take care you very well all right let's fold the mirrors in on the good old minivan and let's go get this thing washed she's all shined up and clean got a quick vacuum and then we got a ride <laughs> so Pick it up Nicholas and he's going right towards downtown Greenville and that lets us kind of shoot over on the uh, 123. It'll connect right over to Clemson and then bring us down to the lake. So we'll do that and uh, kind of make it dual purpose to get rides out and pay our tree guy. He says he's got the big tree down so I got to get over there and see just kind of how maybe I can help him move some stuff but the renters won't be here till I think Thursday or Friday uh, for their renting for the whole weekend. Uh, it should be a beautiful weekend too. If we weren't going to Matt's, we would definitely probably be at the lake. Uh, but I need to get all this done. I need to get a stump grinder or something like that. He said that'd probably be a good, I don't know, five, seven, eight hundred dollars more for him to do that. So I said, man, I'd rather get the content and kind of get that going. Take you guys with me through the process of uh, building this shop. And my thought process is I'm going to build the shop with two 14 foot doors, lay the concrete, get more surface area. Um, and then I can build a house on later in life uh, as we progress with everything in life. But I don't want to take a, I don't want to take a loan out or anything like that or take a builder's loan. I've heard nothing but horror stories. I'll do little pieces at a time, do the foundation, get the first floor uh, laid down, and then uh, build up. But at least we'll have the shop because then we'll just connect it to. We'll build the shop in the in the sense that we're going to connect it to um, a house that will face the lake right there, and hopefully that'll be years to come of good. Uh, video content and young boys growing up in the lake and uh, beautiful days at the lake so that's my vision for it but first we gotta get these trees down the one tree was kind of it was on my neighbor's property I'm actually kind of doing him a solid because <laughs> I just don't want it falling on that house even though it's I don't know how much those single wides are worth I would guess maybe 20 grand I don't know brand new I think they're like 50 grand for a, a single I don't know um, I just don't want to deal with that or have it hit or any kind of insurance claim in six months to a year of rebuilding it or putting a new one out there so i said let's just cut that down man it's kind of already hanging over the whole house and these winds get bad out here he's like yeah I, I get that but that was definitely a complicated tree so they got that one down and that was probably the it probably cost us 1500 bucks just to get that one down then we paid a little more for the other two so anyways we get all those down get the stump grinded to get some concrete poured and then i'll start searching for a uh, metal building I'll, i don't know if i'll do a, a post building or or what because it seems like i just want the longevity i want it to be structurally intact and be able to hand handle these winds and anything that throws at it so uh, but we don't get a lot of winds but we do get some winds we're on a lake so we'll see what we go with we'll talk to some companies and and uh we already have the foundation laid we just need to add, add to it a little bit but that's 12 inch concrete right there that, this lady that did all this uh 12 inch concrete and we also have to move that shed so i should probably talk to some shed companies on the way too yeah, I'm rambling. Let's go pick up Nicholas, get him towards downtown Greenville, and then head towards the lake. And look what we're going by right here, just to pick up uh, Nicholas. Oh yeah, seeing this wholesale. <laughs> Been here a couple times lately, uh, bringing water from Florence. So Pepsi, in fact, did uh, take that fifty dollars out of my good old great cons. Thanks a lot, Pepsi, for that uh, wonderful gesture of trucking is uh, in shambles. Let's make it worse. All right. <laughs> no worries. And my buddy Marcel, he's probably not working now. He works at night shift, so. 
Marcel, if you see this man, I miss you, brother. Got to get together. Got to do a beach trip with you, man, or go out there and, and get some sun, man. He looks like he's right in a corner here. His original pin was down to the right. Must be leaving work, or maybe he's just coming in town, business type. It's uh, checking on operations. This Silverado right here, this crew cab, has been here uh, for a couple of years. I've seen it out here. Is he walking towards me, or is he, which one is he? I don't know. Both walking. There's one guy, two guy. You, Nicholas? All right. There we go. There we go. What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? Just man? jumping off of work? Yes, sir. Are you yard jockey? What do you do? Working in the warehouse? Uh, yeah, I'm working in the warehouse. Nice. I got a buddy who's yard jockey out here. Oh, cool. Thank you. I don't know if you know him, Marcel. Probably works night shift, though. You probably don't know him. Okay, Nicholas was an awesome guy. He actually has a TikTok. Uh, he's like doing bodybuilding stuff. A young guy just got out of rehab for 12 months and um, got that job. Actually had a person from Australia. This is how crazy social media is. Had a TikTok. Um, has a TikTok. And had somebody who's one of his followers from from Australia reach out. And we have a bunch of Australia uh, fans too, like Diesel. Love you, man. Um, got him, helped him get an apartment. Like, got him out of rehab, or he's already out of rehab. He's been doing good. He's got his job, and he helped him and uh, signed a lease for him for his apartment for 12 months. So, best of luck to you, Nicholas. Um, I taught him a little bit about YouTube because, I mean, there's things going on with TikTok. We all know about that. Um, I don't personally use it. The wife does. <clears throat> no big deal. Um, but yeah. I told him just, hey, stick with that stuff. Might as well go left or right. Right is the mall. Left is Haywood. Mm, I don't know. My phone's almost out of battery. But yeah, really cool meeting him. I told him to at least bring those people over to YouTube so that if TikTok does eventually dwindle or fall or whatever, you still have a way to make money because he doesn't really make any money on TikTok. That's why I don't do TikTok or anything like that. I'm on top of just the, the premises of it, which I'm not going to get into, um, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, those kind of things, they don't give you a value for what you put out there and how much time and effort you put into these videos and, and filming and all that stuff. So this video might be a little bit different from trucking, but hopefully it gives somebody out there that's thinking about doing YouTube or thinking about being an influencer. What I started this channel out was with just teaching people how I did it, how I went straight to uh, being an owner robber, bought a truck and rebuilding both my Cummins motors and both my trucks with the help of Hey Guy Diesel. If you don't know about them, check them out or type it into my... Uh, uh, search bar just trucking hey guy h-a-g-g-a-i awesome people especially if you have a cummins anyways um youtube can be a, a whirlwind we also found out there's a lot of uh there's a, a, a part of youtube which is very filled with hate and envy and, and uh just evil so we try to be good we try to do that and um stay away from that so a lot of things out there on youtube uh people will come to be angry if they like if they didn't do it if they didn't be successful on youtube or maybe they didn't stick with it long enough or edit enough or whatever. And I'm ranting right now, but um, biggest thing was I could do is teach Nicholas like, hey, have multiple platforms. We do the Facebook page, we do the uh, YouTube, we have the three channels. We haven't really done a lot with uh, 3BB because I haven't really been working on the cars. I've been focusing on trying to sustain the bills with trucking and this channel. So, um, but yeah, Nicholas, I hope it works out for you, man. He's, he subscribed to the channel, he watched it. And um, yeah, for prayers for you, man, prayers for, a brighter side of life and like I said best thing you can do with YouTube or being a creator is don't listen to the noise and don't watch any other people don't watch any hateful videos or anything else or just be you put out what you're gonna put out help teach people um, and that's the best thing I can teach you and be you and, and do the best you can for your family if that's your motivation if your motivation is to buy an awesome truck or be a sweet chromed out reefer or stainless polished out reefer and truck on bags and all that stuff then that's another thing that's beautiful and great great stuff to have but <clears throat> for me i just want to build something for my kids and be able to youtube lets you kind of build your own schedule so i if i can film at the beat at the lake with my kids on the shop that's that's the dream for me i would love that so that's what i'm trying to do and right now we're trying to make it to that lake so we can start building that foundation for the future and i should probably see what i because we're on a busy road all right well, okay, now before we get to the lake, we need some money for our tree guy. Because <laughs> last time it was Sunday and we couldn't uh, go to the bank and actually take out a withdrawal. So we will do it today. And there's a Wells Fargo downtown, so let's go grab some. Probably one of the nicest uh, banks <laughs> for Wells Fargo. <laughs> it's got a bunch of other stuff like on the sides too, but majority that's the entrance to the bank pretty nice we're just gonna use the ATM but yeah pretty nice bank not bad at all
And another thing about YouTube, if you are starting one up, uh, make sure you set up a separate bank account to keep track of all your expenses and set up an LLC. Find a good tax guy that's worth their weight in gold. There you go. I like it when the ATM lets you use 50s. It's way better uh, than all 20s. A lot easier to handle. All right, downtown Greenville. It's been fun. Probably see you later for Uber. And unless we get a load, but you can see right here on the left, uh, $1,600 all the way down to Orlando. Whew, not happening. So at least we got something good out of that one going to Tampa for the vacation. And that paid for the whole vacation, the room and everything we spent. So that was beautiful. But um, we need to pray for the truck industry for sure because it is not ideal right now. I like going the top way to the lake. You can go 85 where we go over that big bridge. You see the lake or you can come through uh, the top of Greenville 123 and it'll bring you right into Clemson and then um, take you kind of right by my neighbor's lake house and then right into our house. So it's a smooth ride, four lane, two on each side and don't mind it, it's nice and relaxing. So we're gonna get, get into Clemson. I think I'll turn off Uber. I already have turned off Uber, but I won't turn it on. Maybe I'll turn it on right through Clemson. If someone happens to be going towards the lake or our house, um, we'll pick that one up. But one of the renters asked for window coverings <laughs> on the lake property. So they said, hey, uh, do those windows have any coverings for that bunk bed room? And, I, and we said, no, we don't have them on there. So I stopped at Walmart back there and grabbed some. Uh, hopefully they're the right uh, size and they work. If not, I'm sure we can make them work, but <laughs> I'd rather them just work off the bat. But. We'll get up there, get these installed so they have some privacy. They're kind of the blackout ones that they need it to be dark in there for the kids they can. If they want to put them in for naps during the day or whatever. If they have kids, I don't know. Don't know much about them, but they have a great rating. The cool thing about renting your house out, uh, there's ratings for the renters, ratings for the rentees, I guess. Um, so you can see if they've had problems before. I think if they could fall below a certain rating, then they're not allowed to rent anymore. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, these people are really high rated, so it shouldn't be a problem. Get that done for them. Check out the trees. Maybe help move some logs if uh, they're in the way of the driveway or driving. I don't know. Because uh, I'd like to have them have both driveways in case they have a boat. That would say probably do. Probably doing fishermen or maybe they're just coming out for some sun because it is 82 degrees right now. But anyways, stop rambling. Get there. Put some window shades up. And then um, check on the property. And I'll probably move my red Dodge just so it's not right outside the window. So they don't have to stare at it. Um, some people like trucks. Some people don't put it back behind the boat again or put it back to the boat because they just needed to move to cut trees down and go from there but right now let's get to Clemson and get down to the house and we just got into Clemson and we got a ride so it's going right here picking up off the way we we're going towards where we're going so I said cool it has a surge on it and it's a top tipper which I pray that I mine has to say top tipper because I tip every time <laughs> so I tipped a couple 20s um cool cool uber guy had to pick me up after i dropped my load in Clearwater. uh nice guy so i gave him a tip but one thing i noticed is like all those ubers in Clearwater, they all had their phones in their hands like hit a phone mail come on <laughs> don't be holding it in your hand i was if you were a safety person i'm sure that drives them crazy like hey put your phone down put it on the on the, uh, on the mount somewhere one guy had like two phones on each side the guy that taught us about the uber black out there he, he had it right he had like these clips that went in the vents that have magnets magnets like what I use. I use the MagPal. If you're not familiar with that, I get it from QT. It's the only place I can find it, but it has to be the QT like um, truck stops. So, all right, let's get Sophie. Let's see what she's doing. Down here, kind of like off. I don't know what this is. Engineering? Maybe it's part of Clemson. Maybe this is one of their, uh, their buildings. Engineering water utility. Maybe this is Clemson's... Uh, city facilities. I don't know. But this is where she's getting picked up, so let's see what she's got. And Sophie's actually behind us. Let's get her. All right. No worries. Don't worry about it. I was uh, up at the front. All right. Sophie was awesome. She's uh, getting an internship, and that was like where the police station is and all that stuff for uh, Clemson. So, cool. Nice talking with her today. She's in a sorority back there behind and she's from Colorado, so cool. Nice meeting you, Sophie. Thanks for the uh, conversation. Some people don't talk at all, you know? <laughs> so she was talking all the time. Cool, cool. All right, now we're in Clemson. We're at the heart of it now. We have to get back to the main road, which is just right up the way, down there, a little bar road. 
and get back towards the lake. But something else will probably pop up in the meantime because it's busy, busy time for kids getting out of school and it's 82 degrees. Yeah, exactly. There we go. They're going down to Anderson. Oh, nope. Oh, where's it going? Yeah, on the opposite side of the lake. It's not the side of the lake that we live on, so no, I'm not taking that one. Let's keep looking. Quick stop off at the Exxon right here before we get to the house. We're pretty much at our neighbor back home's house right here at the lake. Uh, love his house. Beautiful house. Uh, love when we get to stay there and hang out with him. I uh, like 4th of July and stuff. But now we can just go back to our own house after. But before we used to stay with him even more. Um, let's get refreshed in here and get over there. We're only five miles away. Okay, got a refresh, refresh, but didn't get a refreshment. They're like redoing their fountain drinks. It's all good. Uh, keep getting different rides on here, but they're all back and forth by the college, so we're definitely going down towards the lake. Maybe there will be something, that's why we're keeping it on, but we'll just get there, get these window coverings on, pray that they fit and work, and uh, get back to Uber. And uh, yeah, trucking nothing. I'm looking for tomorrow. I'm trying to look for something that maybe will go up to Louisville for the truck show for Matt's. That'd be nice. Last year we did that and actually had our trailer hit and ripped off all of our electrical for our uh, plug and our right our red airline, emergency airline. So luckily we had awesome people come out there and fix it for us and we met the people that told us about the people to fix it at Matt's. So that's why Matt's is so cool. You get to meet different people and uh, just social and just network, social media network and then network with all the people you've been working with uh, for all the sponsorships and load boards and like lube zones even going to be out there. Uh, I have their booth information. I'll drop that at some point. I can't remember it, but we're going to be uh, stopping by to see them and say hi. Probably on Friday, so cool 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 let's watch this crazy intersection with the tackle shop right there and then go tackle these uh window coverings looking absolutely beautiful out here oh i miss it we are blessed to live where we live and live in america and just where if you work hard you can play hard and that's what i love about life in general right now i'm trying to teach my boys that and uh just let them know this stuff didn't just come out of thin air some people they inherit things or they grew up <clears throat> with it, that kind of thing. Or even with trucking, grew up with trucking, grew up around it. I just started four or five years ago. And it's been a blessing to us. And I started YouTube three years ago and it's been a blessing to us. I want to teach them that this doesn't just come from coming, you know. The hard work makes it happen. That water level still looking fantastic. I love it. And that is going to be one heck of a fire right there. Oh, man. I have to have some water on hand. And our buddy Stan, oh, he's got it stacked up nice, so this is perfect. I don't have to really move much. Awesome. Got plenty of firewood now, though. Definitely. Uh, got a couple extra shrubs right here that'll help him move. But that tree's down. Nice. Looks like I actually took down a couple of smaller ones, too. Awesome. I'm just going to clean up all the ground down here, so it's nice and clean for everybody. That comes through, and then, um, like, yeah get these window coverings up and move that big red dodge Hold on okay so it's on this side on this and we're side. doing concrete we yeah. got to be careful yeah so when you get ready to, to do it you need to come and have map the, yeah. the power power grid mark it yep there's the power yeah so just disconnect it from the inside when i move the shed so that is so awesome i don't know if you heard that but um or he didn't say it but uh, this building already has 220 to it it's going right along the the proper line over there so we'll have to keep track of that when we pour the concrete huge blessing this one's down too uh we'll probably stump grind that one also because we're gonna bring out the concrete this is 12 inch concrete at that side and it goes even deeper over here so we'll just build off of that um do our little footers right here and build the house out here eventually but right now just get that shop two 14 foot doors get that going but since we already have 220 that is a huge plus if you don't know what that is it's 220 volts instead of 110 which your house typically has it's doubled up so you can run like a big compressor i can run a plasma table start making grills again all that kind of stuff um but yeah that one's down Boop, lots of wood huge bonfire i'm gonna clean up all of that and then they're gonna get the fence back up so uh it looks nice and pretty for well it doesn't really look pretty for a fence like that but it looks decent for the next people who rent it all right let's get to work well, that is a lot better. Ready for renters? Okay, okay. AC's working good, and a neighbor let me use his gas one, and his uh, grandson helped me, which is awesome. Okay, now, I bought these guys. 84 inch with these little things. Let's see if this works, because we're gonna go from 
this to to that. What do you think, Wyatt? Pretty cool? Darker so you can sleep in? There you go. Perfect. All right, come on. Okay, now let's move this big beast out of the way so they don't have to stare at it out those windows. We just put shades on. <laughs> All right. I love this truck. It's crazy to have a truck that you had so long ago in Arizona. Like before I even met T-Dubs, I had this truck. It's crazy to get it back. Oh, yeah. Let's move her. That AC unit just kicked on, keeping it cool. We have the Wi-Fi connection, so it, it was on heat, so it was pretty warm when I got in there, but look how much we cleaned up. We got it done, or I got it done. Uh, my neighbor's kid helped me a little bit, so thank you, Dallas. Got the fire pit back, got a lot of wood for them to burn. <laughs> if it gets chilly, got the truck back, boat back, and yeah, ready to rock, so how oh, man. Oh man, I can't wait. And yeah, we'll let that wood right there dry out for a couple weeks and oh my goodness, that's going to be a fire. Have some fire extinguishers on hand and wait for a non-windy day. And back at Clemson. So, probably Uber around here. I'm hungry. A lot of work. I worked real hard just now. <laughs> I was sweating. Uh, so, I need a little food to replenish my, uh, yeah, my intake. But um, Uber here a little bit after I get some grub. And then try and get one back towards the house and probably Uber tomorrow. Again, look at the, at the loads. But um, yeah, not looking great today, so hopefully it picks up a little tomorrow. We get something that comes up because can't really take anything too far because I got to leave on Thursday. They don't want up to Louisville, so we'll see. Maybe it'll just be Uber week and uh, look for a little short sum to Atlanta, Tennessee, North Carolina, Savannah, Georgia, something like that. We'll figure it out. But right now, let's get some grub. Grab some of that three-hour parking. Oh, yeah. Clemson Paws everywhere. But they have a Chipotle right up here, so I said, why not? I love Chipotle. So a little downtown. I was like, where's Chipotle? It is up there. All right. Let's go get some. Beautiful sunset. Part of what's wrong with America's youth today. Come on. And now we grow. So on the way out, I cleaned it up a bit. All right, let's get some Uber going. And I gotta say, this weather out here is beautiful. Perfect weather. Only gonna get warmer, but if it stay like this year round, everybody live here. Didn't get much Uber out of Clemson because well, it's spring break. They just got back in town. Not doing much. But uh, it's pretty cool. They got the fair going on over there. It's, uh, I don't know when they're coming back to where we live, but they come in our backyard too. Awesome. And there's a bunch of lightning up, up there in those clouds. I don't know if you can see them way off in the distance, but there's like these huge clusters of clouds up there. So we got blessed where we didn't have any uh, rain or bad weather over here. But we're going to head over to Greenville. So I'm closer to home. It's 7.45 right now, 8 o'clock. So, um, yeah, I'm going to call it a night. But at least we got that house ready for the renters. <sighs> and we're making progress. I'm starting to look at metal buildings. I might just do a... I didn't know if I was going to do 6x6, six six, a pole barn style, or a metal building. But either way, I have to pour some footers all the way around the pad that I have out there. And I'm probably going to make that pad, like, 8 foot... Um, further towards the back of the property too because I have like another 30 feet back there towards my property line maybe 40 feet so I just try to make the most useful area we can and uh, start talking to some building companies I want a metal building I don't think I want to do wood um, metal stronger and I guess it's actually cheaper too these days so do a metal building with some 14 foot doors and that'll be that but that's in the future right now it's concrete it's getting the stump grinded both stumps grinded and then pouring some concrete and uh yeah, but then this week it's uh, mats. And that flag is flying. And um, you can see the lightning up there. It's pretty cool. Every now and then you get a big burst of lightning across the sky. And we got a load, or not a load, a ride. James picking him up and he's going right down to the center of downtown Greenville. So let's go get him. Bon Secours St. Francis. He looks like he's right here on the right. Nice little statue right there and beautiful sunset. I do not see him yet, but uh, his little blue pen is right here, so he should be right here. I think that's him. Got a little TD bag. 
Let's grab them. This will be our last, or not our last bit clip, guys. I'm going to be done with this. James, how you doing, bud? All righty. And we're going over to Ashley Avenue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All righty. No problem. Have a good one, James. Alrighty then. Uh, James, well, I, he's up. I don't know what that was going on, but um, nice gentleman. Just, uh, I don't know, but uh, I think he had dialysis or something. And it, he was fumbling with the bag. That's why I turned on the video. <laughs> He, he was sitting there in the seat for a good minute as the door was already open for him to go ahead and go. Um, just fumbling with some, like, um, grocery bags. I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on back here. I don't know if he was trying to... But they were, like, empty. Empty grocery bags, so... I don't know. Best of luck and everything, James. That was our ride. He did have a pretty bad rating, but we like to just help anybody, so... Well, that is it. And he said, is this your only job? I said, well, I do a couple different things, man. Just a few. Okay, we'll get out with that one. Probably gonna wrap this video up. I'm gonna get some refreshments. Um, I need some more water. I took like two water bottles, but I'm dehydrated. I was sweating out there at that uh, property. So I feel good about that. I'm glad we can get some blinds or uh, whatever curtains out there for them. It wasn't expensive. It was like $13 per set of those curtains. And then those little rod things were like $4.50. So, not bad, and get some privacy. Probably should have done it before, but it's all good. We'll take one more and then uh, close this video. And we got our last ride. I don't know what it was tonight, but um, probably hockey, I would say. I don't know. I don't know what people are dressed like. People have red shirts on. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out shortly because we're picking up Charlotte, and uh, that'll be our last ride, guys. We can squeeze in here behind the Honda with the hazards on because uh, we're kind of in the road here. Let's see if Charlotte's coming. There she is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hi, Charlotte. Yeah. What do we, we, yes, ma'am, come on in. What do we have going on tonight? Uh, women's finals. Oh, nice. Yes. Not the final four. Not the final four, but. Is it Elite Eight or what, what we got? Yeah, we got Elite Eight. eight. Nice. And South Carolina is winning. And we have got to back to the whole title see Ohio yeah. State. Okay, so you're going to kind of dual purpose it. Yes, we are. You're going to we finish are. the game. I didn't even know that. So how many people are in there? Many. Okay, awesome group of ladies from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And they are just in here. For, I didn't even know the uh, Elite Eight was right here. I knew that last weekend we had some, but I guess it's this weekend too. So she's like, hey, stick around uh, South Carolina. Gamecocks, they're up by 15 with like three minutes left. I said, awesome, I'll go back over there. I was about to go home. So we are not taking, that's not our last ride, but uh, they tipped me 10 bucks and that's awesome. Thank you so much. So let's go back and get some more of these people leaving here, but they're doing a trophy presentation tonight. So that'll probably make them uh, a little bit later coming out of there, but that's fine. We'll hang out for a little bit. I tested the TWs, I love her. I'll see her in the morning. I'll probably see her tonight actually. She always wakes up and gives me some cuddles. But yeah, on that note, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today and uh, getting one step closer to a shop being built. And I will see you on the next one.